Hey, my Young and the Restless fans. Yes, we are back. It's the middle of the week. Happy hump day. And we got another episode to talk about. First, Daniel helps Lily settle into the new penthouse. Sally pushes Nick to agree to Victor's job offer. And Adam launches an all-out attack on Newman Media. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the Young and the Restless and the Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless Recap for July 12th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Genoa City today. Okay, so let's start out at the GCAC, where we see Nick is telling Sally that part of him cares about Adam, but he still don't trust him and how Adam has let the family down. Uh, Nicholas, can we remind you that your brother, this same man, is one kidney short because he gave it to your daughter, Faith, and also saved your butt when you were stuck in that whole crash building in Kansas. Remember that tornado? I mean, what more does Adam have to do to prove himself? And I mean, seriously, Nicholas, uh, I think you've cheated on every woman you've been with and you got the nerve to say that you can't trust Adam. Anyway, Sally agrees that he should take the offer. She claims Adam Letter touched her. Well, I mean, I really can't tell. I mean, yesterday, she just bad-mouthed him to Sharon. I mean, she claims she has a different perspective of what he's going to. I mean, it was his baby, too, but... I don't know if she is flipping, flopping back and forth. So now over at Crimson Lights, speaking of Adam and Sharon, Adam wants to know why Sharon thinks merging their companies is going to be a good idea. Now, she claims that she wants a new focus in her life. And I guess maybe the coffee shop isn't doing it for her anymore. I mean, she did think about selling it first. However, he tells her that this just doesn't fit his vision for the company and advised her to talk to Nick. He thinks Sharon is just trying to save him. Adam did say that there could be value, though, in Kirsten's company. And yeah, he's going to consider it. And I would say I am happy to hear that, that he's going to be thinking about that, too. So now we're over at the Jazz Lounge and summer is going on and on to Daniel about how infuriating their mom is. I mean, and she says a part of her is still angry at her. Girl, you need to be angry with yourself. I mean, Phyllis didn't make you do anything you didn't want to do, right? Now, Summer also told Daniel that Kyle is not speaking to her right now and that he's probably going to be working with Audra. She said that she's afraid Kyle is making rash decisions. Well, you know what? If anybody can see that, yeah, it's you, Summer. You made a whole bunch of those when it came to your mom. Now, Daniel thinks that he'll eventually come around, but you know what, Daniel? I don't think so. So now we're over at Devon's penthouse, not for much longer, where he and Abby is excited about their move and look like they're only taking the basics because they're leaving the house furnished. They head over to society, run into Lily, and they finally give her the keys. Then they run into Adam, and Adam has pretty much putting his cards on the table, making it known, especially being that Devon asked him what's going on with Tucker's company. And of course, he was like, wait a minute, you're not trying to make a play. You're not having any regrets about not going after your dad's company. And Devon was like, no, I just want to see what's going on. And he said, yeah, I'm pretty much dismantling everything and I'm going after Newman Media. And hey, if you want a little sweet revenge, that would include your boy Nate. However, that did not sit too well with Devon. And he said, you know what? As much as we have our issues, I don't want none of that energy over here from us. And Adam was like, you know what? I got you. I'll make sure that that doesn't happen. And then Adam gets on the phone with someone telling them that Newman Media won't know what hit them. And I'm telling you, I'll put a wager on Adam any day. The man with the Harvard business degree over Victoria and Nate. And yeah, it looked like Adam probably is going to take them to the cleaners. So now we're over at Chancellor Park where we see Billy and Chloe are trying to get Chelsea to take the job at Marchetti. And she says she got to run it by Connor first and said that he's been shutting down because of Sally losing the baby. I'm telling you, that little boy be going through so much with these adults around him. First, it was Sally in the pregnancy, him having a new brother and Johnny and... And I'm telling you, it's always something. Chelsea
Chelsea spoke to Connor and he said, you know what? Just go for it, mom. Chelsea gave the news to Summer, who is thrilled. And I'm glad too. I didn't want her trying to get that position to maybe somebody else who's not qualified. And, you know, I don't think that Jack probably would allow just anybody in there anyway. So now we're over at the penthouse, which is now Lily's penthouse. And Daniel is already there. He has everything set up. He have all these roses. They have a bottle of wine and then they go upstairs to christen the new crib. And finally, back over at Crimson Lights, Sharon is now talking to Nick about the merger idea and she thinks that they will be a powerhouse of positivity. She told them that it could be a win-win um, and hopefully they'll be all on the same page. I mean, really? But I could see it. I would prefer her just to work with Adam alone because Nick, yeah, they'll have the bright ideas and Nick will be like, well, I don't know about that. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if they actually can bring this together. And first, Adam has to say yes to it. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, July 12th, 2023. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.